The Style Rules of Jason Momau Jason Momau is an extremely memorable actor. Well, it's barely possible to miss such a giant in any film. It was him who impersonated the famous Khal Drogo from the Game of Thrones, the DC Comics Aquaman in the same name field, and Duncan Idaho from Dune. For his exotic appearance, the actor should thank his parents. His father is a native Hawaiian, and his mother has Irish, German and Indian roots. In various film roles, we've seen Jason wearing unusual clothes, like a savage loin cloth, chain armor imitating fish scale, or a uniform of a sword master from the distant future. And what about the clothes that Jason wears in his everyday life? That's what we are going to talk about today. Like this video while you are watching the Be Biggie opening and comment which of Jason's roles have inspired you the most. The actor's style usually isn't described with the word as timeless or trendy. His red carpet or formal events looks are very more often titled as ridiculous or sometimes even eccentric. His style is all about large accessories, bowler hats, floral surfing shorts, leather pants and hiking boots. How balanced or awkward is all that? It's up to you to decide. Vests Let's start with a garment that Jason wears quite often. It's a vest. By the way, sometimes he may wear vests on his almost bare body. Well, it definitely would be a crime to hide such huge muscles from the public. Jason's vest could have become an integral part of a formal suit, though there is only one part left of it. These are the burgundy trousers. Under the velvet burgundy vest there is a grey top, and Jason's polka dotted black tie has been simply put round the neck with overlap. The look is complemented by a pair of leather brown red Chelsea boots. Jason wears his faded leather double vest with a simply grey t-shirt. The latter also has teeny holes in it. His burgundy pants are teamed with a heavy brutal chain, and the boots look like an old museum piece. The material is shabby and creased, as the boots have been worn for decades. Sometimes, however, the actor can dress a bit neater. His large weaved blue vest has been put over a simple white t-shirt, all this teamed with a pair of dark blue jeans. Note that the chain is also here. The look is completed with faded brown red shoes. Note that in all the looks with vests Jason also put on some accessories. We'll discuss them in detail a little bit later. Leather jackets It wouldn't be a big surprise to find some leather jackets in Jason's wardrobe highlighting his personal MoMA features. They are great to show his brutality. Jason's collection obviously has more than one model, but they usually have standard colors – black or brown. For example, to the Justice League premiere, he once wore a brown sheep leather jacket with loop buttons and stand-up collar. However, that look was criticized by stylists for its negligence, as there was a dark velvet vest and long hold top. Look at the bottom part of the look. You have already seen the burgundy pants and brown red Chelsea boots in a vest look before. The following black leather biker jacket looks quite impressive with Jason's frame. It's worn above a brown t-shirt. The look is added by a pair of straight dark blue jeans with a chain. The final part of the look is represented by a pair of slightly faded brown shoes with rounded toe cups. Hats Hats are another popular item in Jason's wardrobe, and among them especially noticeable are bowler hats. They are the reason why the actor is sometimes called the Mad Hatter by the media. The actor's bowler hats always look aged and shabby, but it's all done on purpose. His hats are handcrafted by a famous Hollywood hat maker, Gunner Fox, who also makes various hats to match film costumes. Jason wears one of such bowler hats within a look that consists of a long dark grey tank top, green swim trunks with a geometric pattern and a pair of flip-flops. The same hat appears in a look with a mustard vest worn over a white t-shirt, teamed with a pair of dark blue jeans. What do you think? Comment which look is better to wear with this bowler hat, in your opinion. The actor also has a brown suede hat, which resembles a fedora, bota and a gaucho hat at the same time, and of course it doesn't look very fresh. The hat is a part of a look that consists of a dark blue denim shirt with the long rolled up sleeves worn over a white t-shirt, and a pair of worn down beige khaki trousers with a side chain. And shoes. Well, there are no shoes at all. 
However, Jason has something more old band than bowler hats. These are his baseball caps. It's worth noticing that the latter suits him very well. The actor often wears a tracker cap with high suede front panels with a logo, and there's a black mesh on the back. It's worn with a simple black t-shirt or in a multi-layered look, with a dark red pullover and a black zipped jacket with a stand-up collar. Jason looks even more brutal when wearing a cap backwards. He immediately turns into a tough biker, especially when he teams the black cap with a black t-shirt, which has a large logo or a name of a rock band and a pair of black jeans. In its peak front position, the cap creates a super brutal look within a total black set, a black tank top and black pants. The look desperately needs a huge chain on the side. It's strange that it still isn't there. Accessories You must have noticed that every look of the actor is accompanied by various accessories. Let's take his chains, for example, that are often present on the side on his jeans or trousers. This thing with no doubt brings a bit more negligence, just like the rest of the elements of the look, which most frequently are pocky black, grey or white t-shirts, dark jeans or pants, and faded boots. Jason often wears waistbands that are quite numerous in his collection. They are thin weaved ones with large details, white leather and metal. For everyday looks with regular t-shirts and dark jeans, the actor chooses the aforementioned thin-weaved bracelets. Jason Momo has a pair of metal bangles that makes his already impressive figure look even bigger. He sometimes wears them in a biker clothes set that consists of a black zippered leather jacket, black t-shirt with a Nirvana logo and a pair of black jeans. One of these bracelets has also appeared in an unexpectedly light-colored look. Then he was wearing a faded leather vest over an untucked white dotted shirt and a pair of brown leather boots with light pants tucked into them. The actor quite often wears massive accessories on his neck, in addition to various looks. They may be beads or large pendants, and by the way, Jason may wear only one item or several accessories of different types on his neck at the same time. Added to the looks with loose or low neck tops, such beads and pendants make the actor's appearance even more exotic and even a bit savage. It's obvious that there's no reason for Jason to put on small accessories when having such a huge fit, since teeny details would be unintentionally lost. The actor often wears one, two or even three extremely large signet rings, and in his case it looks quite appropriate. He sometimes may wear three rings in addition to his shiny pink satin suit, teamed with a bracelet with large stones and a symmetric necklace, or to his everyday look consisting of a dark colored short jacket over a white t-shirt, dark green trousers and a pair of faded boots. Our hero is a highly charismatic type. His looks are constantly balancing between a bikey goth and a fashion cowboy. The media are often giggling at his looks with butted hats, worn-down tops and faded boots, but the actor stays loyal to himself and his peculiar style, not paying attention to the jokes and caring of his inner comfort rather than the outer appearance. By the way, there's something similar in the style of another West and hats lover, it's Johnny Depp. Watch our video about his fashion on Be Bigger and compare the two actors by their boldness and brutality. Note that Jason has a very specific and exotic type of appearance, as well as a muscle-bound frame. This is the reason why you shouldn't copy exactly what he wears. For this you'll need to get taller, tan, get a beard and long hair, just like Jason himself. Otherwise you may look too awkward. Nevertheless, Jason Momao may become the source of your inspiration and motivation. What if you want to get such huge broad shoulders like he has, and then you'll be able to wear a vest on your bare body and demonstrate your muscles? Which celebrities would you like to see in our future videos? Comment who could it be in our video series. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button, so you won't miss anything.